if you're swimming, they can cover their hair. And it actually helps. Oh, yeah. that's If you're fencing, you you cover your hair. Like, why can't you just do it in another sport? It it doesn't make sense. Han Meditation. Hey guys, as you can see, I have all these journals. I would fill all these journals up with affirmations when I was on dialysis. And now I have my own very special journal. The link will be in the description. Check it out, guys. On every page is a positive affirmation about God, about healing, about manifesting. It teaches you how to do it. And there's even a little bit about my story, guys. So go ahead and check this out. And it'll be in Amazon. Go ahead and get the book if you want to support the channel. Thank you guys for watching. This is French basketball player Selima Tassila. French athletes like her can't compete in the Paris 2024 Summer Olympics. The reason? She wears a hijab. So why don't French women have the freedom to compete in hijab while female athletes from all over the world do? Especially since this year's Olympics is promoted as the first gender equal games in Olympics history. It has to do with France's ongoing issues with Muslim attire. Late last year, French sports minister Amélie Odecastera announced the hijab ban for French athletes competing in the 2024 Paris Olympics. The International Olympic Committee, however, said it has no rules against the Islamic veil. No one has challenged the host country, France, on the ban. Its only reassurance has been that athletes are allowed to freely dress in the Olympic Village, the residential complex where they stay. The Olympic sports competitions are organized and overseen by individual international sports federations. International human rights organizations, including Amnesty and Human Rights Watch, criticized the French ban and called on IOC president Dr. Thomas Bach to help overturn it. But with the Olympic Games inching closer, the paradox remains unresolved as there's no hope for France's hijab-wearing athletes. Minky Warden, director of Global Initiatives for Human Rights Watch, told Reuters that even if the ban was lifted, with the event looming, it's quite impossible to compete now. Muslim women and girls who wear the headscarf have already been excluded from the necessary training and competitions that would qualify them to compete at the Olympic level. The paradox is that the Olympic Charter does guarantee the rights of athletes without discrimination, including that of religion. France, however, defends the hijab ban by referring to the country's secularism principle, laïcité. Secularism, the separation of state and religion, is engraved in the French Republic's founding. Left-wing or right-wing matters very little, as both political camps widely support it. But critics argue the secularism argument is used against Muslims in particular to remove visible signs of their religion. In just the last 10 years, there have been bans on the burkini, burqas, and niqabs in public spaces. In 2022, the French Senate voted 160 to 143 in support of banning hijab, among other religious symbols in sports competitions. Last year, Muslim overgarments in schools were banned across France. So, with France's hijab ban officially entering the international sports arena, what is next for French Muslim women and girls? Like, I, I, so you're forced to show your hair? I mean, I don't get how this is. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. I mean, what what is going on in this world, in this country? What's going on in France where they're forcing you, they're telling you you can't wear certain clothes? I mean, yeah. what are we talking about here? You're going to ban a scarf? <laughs> you can't wear a scarf now in, in in France? Yeah, I don't agree with that. I, so I actually minored in French. And, you know, it's mostly about learning the language. But we did, of course, learn some cultural things. And I do remember learning about the, the secular rule and law in France from what I remember, though, I only remembered I thought it was only in school. So like even example, the cross, you can't wear a cross, you know, necklace. And I I thought it was only in public school, but maybe it changed or maybe I just have it mixed up. But seriously, to me. The scarf isn't it's not like a cross. You know, it's not really a religious symbol. Like, yes, one religion happens to practice that, but I, I don't I don't think that's a good reason to keep people out of the Olympics. That's I don't agree. I with mean, that. you're essentially going to ban fashion now. Right. Because some people don't want to cover their hair. And it, and it's not I'm not saying it, they're doing it for a fashionable reason. Right. But I'm just saying 
if someone wants to wear a scarf on their head, you, you're going to tell them you can't do it. I mean, that's just because Muslim people are known to do that. Yeah. like I mean, Mother Mary did it. It's not like it's just Muslim people mm-hmm. that do it. All people were doing that back then. Yeah. If you go to Eastern European, people are still doing that. You see these, you know, these old grandmas, they have the scarves on their head, all that. I mean, a lot of people do that because it's a true. more modest thing to do. That's so true. how dare you go in there and you tell people what they can and can't wear? It's supposed to be a free country. It's supposed to be a safe place that you can do whatever you want to do, practice your religion. Oh, you, oh if you want to keep it out of the government and whatever, that's your prerogative. That's fine. But why are you trying to force it into people's homes, into their minds and tell people that they can't do something? I mean, this is where people really need to start standing up and say enough is enough. We just did a video about Christianity and how they were mocking the final supper. This is where I think Muslims need to, in a positive, peaceful way, just stand up and say enough is enough. Yeah. And. You know, and all religions should stand with that, honestly. Mm-hmm. And all people should stand with it. Yeah, I agree. And if the law is about separating religion from state, you know, that's kind of more to do with the government. Like the Olympics, just because it takes place in France, it, it is like its own little place and its own little event that is for the world. It's for the globe. It's for everybody across the globe to represent themselves and their culture and their country and and feel comfortable and feel just together that everybody can represent what they're about but it's just this thing that brings everyone together no matter what you believe no matter what you look like no matter where you're from and it's supposed to all about just coming together as a human race really it's just like what about women's rights you know some women feel comfortable having the hijab, the scarf, it's just craziness. It really is. Yeah, there's no reason to have that ban. There's, they shouldn't be doing it. This needs to, be, this needs to change and this needs to uh, be fixed because France is looking like an absolute joke right now. And we've been to France before. We've been to Paris. We've been there. I love. You Paris, know, it, it was nice. It, you know, honestly, it was pretty dirty, but it was a, <laughs> you know, it was, it was nice. It wasn't anything spectacular. The Eiffel Tower was there. It's a beautiful city, but. South of France is beautiful. I hear I've never been to South of France, but you know, it's just one of those things where we were actually there whenever um, there was like an attack at the in oh, yeah. like a, a week or two before in Paris or something. This but, was like 2015 or so, yeah. So, but it's just they need to get their stuff together, and I really hope they change this because we want positivity for everybody, and you got to let people compete, man. You got to let athletes do what they want because. If you're swimming, they can cover their hair, and it actually helps. Oh, yeah, that's... If you're fencing, you you cover your... Like, why can't you just do it in another sport? It it doesn't make sense. That's so true. So, you know, it's really stupid. Honestly, really dumb. So, thank you guys for watching the video. Definitely like and subscribe. And thank you guys for donating. I mean, we really appreciate it, guys, so much. Thank you so much for doing that. We see them all, guys. We appreciate them all. So thank you so much. One dollar, two dollars, one cent. It doesn't matter. Just let's, let's us know that we're on the right path. Thank so thank you, you guys for doing it. And we'll see you in, in the, the next, next video. video.